Hello, Sprinkles and Milky. Hello. <coughs> oh, Sprinkles, are you okay? I have to go now. Okay, bye, Sprinkles. What's wrong with Sprinkles? I'm not sure. Should we go and find out? But how? I can help you with that. Here are some tips to help you to get Sprinkles to open up about his feelings. Firstly, begin with building up trust. It's very unlikely that he will open up to you unless he fully trusts you. Some ways in which you can build up trust include telling the truth, doing something if you say you are going to do it, and by admitting when you've done something wrong. Secondly, it's important for you to let him know that you're there for him. By doing this, he'll be more willing to open up about his feelings. You can let him know that you're there for him by simply talking to him nicely and welcomingly, and by asking him if he needs anything. You could also do some background research. By this I mean, Sprinkles was feeling pretty sad today. So you could research more about the emotion sadness, and also ways in which you can help him feel better. It's also important that you are able to empathise with Sprinkles. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. You should try not to give him solutions or say things like, it's going to be okay. Instead, you should show interest and gratitude that the person opened up and also share how you feel. Lastly, remember to be an active listener when Sprinkles opens up about his feelings. Being an active listener includes giving eye contact, making sure that you are quiet, so no talking, humming or making sounds, paying attention to what is being said, and also showing that you care through your facial expressions. It's also important to summarise what Sprinkles has said and then repeating it back to him once he has finished. This will show Sprinkles that you have been listening and that you care about what he has said. <coughs> Stop, took my ball. It's okay, Sprinkles. I understand. <laughs>